Today, we're going to talk about a common issue that many PlayStation 5 users have encountered, the dreaded error code CE11055-7. This error occurs when your PS5 is unable to read a disc, leaving you unable to play your favorite games. But fear not, because in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this problem and get back to gaming in no time. Firstly, let's start with some basic troubleshooting steps. Begin by checking the disc itself for any visible scratches or smudges. If you notice any, gently clean the disc using a soft, lint-free cloth. Make sure to wipe from the center of the disc outwards in a straight line, avoiding circular motions that could potentially cause further damage. If the disc appears to be in good condition, the next step is to power off your PS5 completely. Unplug the console from the power source and wait for at least 30 seconds. This will allow the system to reset and clear any temporary glitches that may be causing the error. After the 30 seconds have passed, plug your PS5 back in and power it on. Insert the problematic disk into the console and see if the error code still persists. If it does, don't worry, we have a few more tricks up our sleeve. One possible solution is to update your PS5 system software. Make sure your console is connected to the internet and navigate to the settings menu. From there, select system and then system software. Check for any available updates and install them if necessary. Sometimes outdated software can cause compatibility issues with certain disks, so keeping your system up to date is crucial. If updating the system software doesn't resolve the issue, you can try rebuilding the PS5's database. To do this, turn off your console and enter safe mode by holding down the power button until you hear a second beep. Connect your controller via USB and select the Rebuild Database option. This process may take some time, so be patient and let it complete. Once the database has been rebuilt, restart your PS5 and try inserting the disk again. Hopefully this will fix the error code and allow you to play your game without any further issues. If all else fails, it's possible that the disk itself is faulty or damaged beyond repair. In this case, you may need to consider replacing the disk or contacting the game's manufacturer for further assistance. And there you have it, 